Do people tell you not to sing? Have you been told that you are tone deaf? Like many people, do you think you are tone deaf because you've been told this by friends, family or school teachers? Usually this is their problem, not yours. But just sometimes it's actually true. Some people really are tone deaf and I can help them. My name is Margaret Dylan Jones. Dylan is my middle name and my non-binary transgender title is Mix, spelt MX, which I've been using since 2002. My qualifications in music and music teaching are too numerous to mention here, so they're listed in the text. If you are tone deaf, you can still develop the ability to sing the right notes, hold a tune and pick out notes by ear, by taking advantage of your brain's natural plasticity. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to change in response to challenges and training. It doesn't happen overnight, but with the careful and consistent application of a variety of listening and singing tasks, you can acquire these musical skills. This, of course, will have a major positive impact on your enjoyment of music and your engagement with music. Singing and listening skills are especially important if you play an instrument or take music exams. The researchers call it amusia. They say it can't be changed, but I've succeeded with many seriously tone deaf people. My first tone deaf student in 1989 was trying to sing in the first choir that I started. Over maybe 15 years, I taught about 20 adults with amusia and all but one of them learned to sing in tune. That's a success rate of over 90%. You may well ask, how do I know if I'm tone deaf? The best way is to work with a singing teacher such as myself. I will quickly work out if you have amusia or not. It could be that you're not really tone deaf and the only real reason you can't sing in tune is because of inexperience or lack of training. And I can help you with that too. Or it could be that you actually are tone deaf and you need my help. Have a look at my website about Amusia and feel free to contact me by email to tell me your situation and ask me about having lessons. Drop me a line.